enjoy the intermission. Normally we'd be serving food. Hey, 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 hey,
Nauvoo Reach, if I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> so there was never the right time or surroundings. But then Aunt Abigail would never allow Uncle to have as much as a goldfish. The mere fact that she'd be here tonight forces us to hide all the animals into the guest quarters. That is except. Edward! You didn't let that stupid hamster out again, did you? It's not a hamster, Priscilla, it's a gerbil! Well, and whatever. He... Mother thought she saw something run underneath the table in there. Impossible! Don't impossible me! Well, admit it, Priscilla! You're the only one who's been here all day! You're the only one with an opportunity and motive! All the evidence I gathered points to you! Me? Yes, you! When things don't go your way, you make sure that they do! Oh, settle down, Edward, and go get Mother another brandy. You see? You see what I'm talking about? No, 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 no. I'm going to prove it was you. I'm not sure how, but I'm not coming back until I do. Yeah. What? Well, whatever. I can't believe that we're just, just, just that, 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 that what? That we're just standing around here doing nothing. Daddy's been murdered and well, we're just... murder is only a speculation at this point. Well, then tell me. Why are you here? Why is there blood all over the place? And how come you don't have a squad scouring the grounds for clues? I am only investigating the possibility of a murder. Until I can prove that there has been a murder, there is no need to call in a scouring squad. So this is what Daddy pays taxes for? To have the police prance around talking nonsense about proof? Proof can be a burden. Back to Bukowski. and bada bing bada boom. You do that, you might as well be sipping warm tap. Mr. Corbo! Could you please be still? The good inspector was trying to tell us something. Go on, inspector. Thank you. What I hold in my hands are all various drafts of Albert Dornell's will. It seems he's been creating drafts over the past few months with various beneficiaries. Just pull out beneficiaries? Well, in one case, Miss Bombay is added. In another case, Mr. Carbo is added. Well, there's your proof. They, they, they saw the will, and then they killed Daddy to get the money. Yes. Uh, I don't think that's legal yet. Is it? Well, no, these are just drafts. A court would refer to the original legal document, which unfortunately is not here. No, it's in a safe deposit box at Daddy's bank. Are you sure about that? Uh, well, well, no, but probably. He keeps all his important papers there. So what you're saying is, whoever killed Al would have known about the new wills. He, know, he would have known that they wouldn't hold up in court, but the original would. So what we need to do is find the original will, figure out the beneficiary is on that, that's your murder. Well, yes, something like that. That is assuming money is the motive. But since we don't have the original, we will have to discover an alternate means of finding our killer. I will leave everyone in here. Priscilla, if you could go and find Edward and Mr. Mortimer and Mrs. Morgan for me. I'll get them. <laughs> Mr. Corbo, you are so funny. 
Yet. What I shall. <laughs> Thank you. Anyone else? 
but they're actually like smart. Well, then it was him. Or Edward. Where is that dreadful boy anyway? Oh, he's off trying to provide it or something. Oh, Mrs. Morgan. Would you please go find where that nephew of mine has gotten off to? Certainly, Abigail. Oh, and would you please get me a brandy? I'm feeling a wee bit parched. Sorry, but brandy is the department. The insolence! Lest you forget, ma'am, you are, we are no longer your servants. Your beck and call is no longer honored here. Yeah. I'll look for the kid. But if you want anything, get up off of your hoity toy ass and get it yourself. Uh, and uh, while you're up there, Abigail, these nuggets are cold. Can I get some more? And uh, scotch on the rocks. I'll get you a brandy. Yeah, I sure hope someone will. Which reminds me, <gasps> something bothers me about this will. It's the lack of a body. Even if someone stood to gain a fortune from the will, why hide the body? How could death be proven? There would be at least a seven-year waiting Really? I got it! Shut up, Stanley! I figured it out, Bernice! I know who did it! Great for you! I'm pretty sure lots of people already have ideas, but you don't need to go broadcasting it all over the place! Oh my god, you again? I must ask you to please be quiet! Yeah, wait, don't we get to vote? I've seen these mystery deals that let you vote! Yes, you do! It's coming up! Well, when are we gonna do it? She said it's coming up, Stanley! Well, I wanna vote now! If I don't vote now, I might... forget That ain't 
it's your Uncle Albert. Hello, everybody. Sorry I'm late. That's your Uncle Albert. Albert! <laughs> Daddy! What you got in the box here? That's a rat. No, it's Uncle Albert. Tell him, Uncle Albert. Oh, my word! Albert! What happened? We're still and killed him. It, it was an accident. I knew it. I confessed it. I knew you were the only one with the opportunity and motive. Whoa, hold on. Can we... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Can we please back it up for just a moment here? What is going on? This is Uncle Albert. Uh, pleasure to meet you, sir, Inspector Bukowski. Albert Dornan. No, 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 not that one. This one. This is Uncle Albert as well? Yes, I told you that all of the members of the house were named after animals of the house, or vice versa. But this is Uncle Albert the gerbil. Okay, okay. So all this time, when you've been talking about, about murder, you've been talking about Uncle Albert the gerbil, not Uncle Albert the uncle? Yes, of course. Wait a minute. When you came in here yelling that Uncle Albert was murdered, you were talking about that stupid hamster. It's a gerbil, Priscilla, and yes, and I can prove it was you. Look here, see? That looks a lot like your shoe pattern. It was you. Okay. <laughs> can we back it up just a little bit more, please? Sir, if I may ask, where have you been all morning? Well, all over the place, I'm afraid. We found blood in the sink. And we thought aliens had kidnapped you. Aliens? Oh, good grief, no. Sir, if I may ask, what exactly happened this morning from the beginning? Well, this morning after breakfast, I went up to give myself a shave, where I nicked the dickens out of my chin. Oh, a real gusher. So I went to go look for some band-aids, but I couldn't find any. Hence the blood in the sink. And then I went to go look for Mortimer, but I couldn't find him either. So I thought, oh, what the heck, I'll do it myself. Oh, sir, I am dreadfully sorry. Oh, don't be Morty. You're always driving me around places. I need to start doing things more on my own. Only problem was, I had no idea where I was going. I've never actually paid attention to the streets. So I was lost about the entire time. So basically you've been driving around lost this whole time? That's basically the long and the short of it. I would have called, but I didn't have my cell on me. And I would have borrowed someone else's to call, but it turns out I don't know my number. I really don't call myself that often. Daddy, we thought you were dead. Dead? Not that I know of. Yeah, you had us real bunched up there, Al. This inspector was about to run one of us off with your murder. Murder? Yeah, we found blood and fake wills and everything. Fake wills? Oh, those things. Oh, no, I was just doing a little updating, that's all. You know, in fact, that's why I called you all here today, to announce the changes I'm making to my wills. Uh, what changes? Oh, hello there, Abby. Hi. Yes, unfortunately, I'm changing it all. You see, I've never been that comfortable with being an eccentric tycoon. I've had all this money, but I've never been able to spend it on what I really want. You know, what I really want. So I've decided I'm getting rid of most of it, starting with this old drafty place. That's actually why I called you here today, Abby, to tell you that if you want the place, you can have it. Have it? Mm -hmm. Have it? Oh, did you really have it? A glass of water for Mother? Plus, the taxes on this place were killing me, so um, I need a few write-offs. So I decided to greenlight Sal's restaurant oh, and give Candy the money for her beauty parlors. That's all. So you mean to tell me that this entire time you all thought I was dead? Oh, absolutely. It's Edward's fault. He was talking about that stupid hamster. Well, I thought that's what we were all talking about. <laughs> so the entire time that we were talking about the blood and the body and the wills, you, you, you just missed that. I mean, I was, I thought I was there, but I didn't really, well, wasn't really paying attention. Well, may I point out that Edward was not present a lot of the time. He was often pursuing Brandy for Abigail, so evidently there has been Slight misunderstanding. Or dare I say, a crazy mix-up. That's crazy, all right. You said it, sister. <laughs> well, if everything is sorted out, I guess I'd best be on my way. Yo, Bukowski, you did a hell of a job. If I ever know anything about a guy who got killed and we can't figure it out, I'll 
call you. Not a problem. Forget about it. <laughs> By the way, I have a question. Um, who are you going to say, like, like, <laughs> like, was the murderer? Well, since you asked, from what I had to go on, and it wasn't much, I had this idea that it was, well, Edward. No! <laughs> me? Well, yes. Wait, how can you think it was me? Well, you probably stood to inherit a fortune from the will, and you were young enough to wait out the proceeding on the original will. And I figured that that hour you left to get flea spray for Mortimer was a cover for you hiding the body, erasing all evidence that would point to you. And your helping with the investigation was the perfect cover story as well. Only you would have been smart enough to pull it off. Hey, that's pretty good. I'd yeah, like that. Well, if everything's sorted out, I, I'd best be on my way. Thank you so much, Inspector. Sorry I didn't turn out to be dead. That, that's all right. Maybe next time. Oh, sure, any time. <laughs> well, cheers, everyone. Goodbye, good yeah, Inspector. Right, Goodbye, Inspector. Well, it seems like I missed quite the evening. I'll say. How about a toast to Al? Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm awfully sorry, dear Edward. I know that Albert was your favorite. How about this? In the morning, I'll take you and get you a brand new one. You mean it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. Thanks for coming and try saving me. <laughs> 